inguinal region anatomy. Before, before we talk about the ligament, let first understand the pubic bone. This is the pubic symphysis, which is the joint between the two pubic bones. This is the pubic crest and this bulged, bulged part is actually called pubic tubercle and this is called pectineal line this is called superior pubic ramus this is called inferior pubic ramus and this is the obturator foramen now the external oblique muscle epineurosis here we will be having external oblique muscle epineurosis the lower border of external oblique muscle epineurosis folded upon itself and they are going to form a ligament which is called inguinal ligament. This inguinal ligament extends from anterior superior iliac spine up to the pubic tubercle. Now, so the inguinal ligament is actually made from the epineurosis of external oblique muscle. Now, fibers from the inguinal ligaments move backward and attach with the pectineal line. This is called the pectineal line. You guys can see here, this is the pectineal line. And attached with the pectineal line, this is called lacunar ligament. Now fiber, now then fibers from the lacunar ligaments laterally, laterally extend over the pectineal line and these are called pectineal ligament. Now we understand that external oblique muscle epineurosis is going to form inguinal ligament, the inguinal ligament is going to form lacunar ligament and then lacunar ligament is going to form pectineal ligament. Now you guys can see here as we already remember N-A-V-E-L, so narrow artery when empty space and this is lacunar ligament so this is actually the lacunar ligament which is going to be made from the inguinal ligament so now we understand the external oblique muscle epineurosis there here there is the deficiency in the external oblique muscle uh, epineurosis here we will be having epineurosis at this whole area this area is going to be deficient there will be no uh, external oblique epineurosis. So this deficient area is actually called superficial inguinal ring. So the external oblique muscle epineurosis is going to form superficial inguinal ring. The deficiency is going to form superficial inguinal ring. The external oblique muscle epineurosis is going to form inguinal ligament. Then inguinal ligament like this I will be same with L. So I will say inguinal ligament then the inguinal ligament is going to form lacunar ligament. The lacunar ligament is going to form fectineal ligament. Now we have to talk about the conjoint in Dan. Uh, to the inguinal ligament, there is the attachment of the uh, internal oblique muscle. So fibers of the external oblique, uh, internal oblique muscle epineurosis are going to attach with the pectineal line pubic crest. And these arching fibers are going to form the conjoint tendon together with the arching fibers of the transversus abdominis muscles. These are arching fibers of the transversus and this one a deficiency in the transversus abdominis epineurosis is actually called deep inguinal ring. So the conjoint tendon is going to be made from the arching fiber of the internal oblique epineurosis and the uh, transversus abdominis epineurosis. Now we're all the summaries, epineurosis of external oblique, epineurosis of internal oblique muscle, epineurosis of transversus abdominis muscle. The epineurosis of external oblique are going to form superficial inguinal ring and the epineurosis of transversus abdominis is going to form the deep inguinal ring and the external oblique epineurosis is also going to form inguinal ligament, then inguinal ligament is going to form lacunar ligament, the lacunar ligament is going to form pectineal ligament. Like inguinal start with I and L is also look like I. So this is how we will remember that inguinal ligament is going to form lacunar ligament. Now the epineurosis of internal oblique and epineurosis of transversus abdominis together they are going to form conjoint tendon. And how do you remember the conjoint tendon? As you guys can see the, in conjoint O I N T word. This O is for oblique, I N T is for internal. So internal oblique epineurosis and this T is for transversus abdominis epineurosis. Together these two are going to form conjoint tendon and the epineurosis of transversus abdominis is also going to form deep inguinal ring. Now some MCQs like epineurosis of transversus abdominis form external spermatic fascia, conjoint tendon, inguinal ligament, lagunar ligament. The external oblique epineurosis is going to form inguinal ligament, the inguinal ligament and then form lacunar ligament. So these two are not the answer. And I will be talking about this in next video. So the answer will be conjoint tendon. As I told you, from this you will remember T is transversus abdominis and I and T is per internal oblique. Superficial inguinal ring is, is, is present in or it is the deficiency in the external oblique epineurosis.